Shalom. I'm going to start by giving all the praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahushai, Ba'ashim, Ha'rachak, Urash. Double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of the great millstone that rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations unto the four elect tabernacle of David scattered abroad throughout the earth. Now, it's, it's, it's pointless to try to debate on certain topics knowing that the individual that you're debating is not going to receive what you're teaching. And therefore, nobody gets anywhere. Nobody gets converted. Um, it's like when you're going into subjects like this one, this is Tazariak going back and forth with this guy go by the name of Elder Yara. And uh, the topic is reincarnation, as you can see. And um, they're on Sonetter's platform, which I never debate nothing on Sonetter's platform. Um, trying to make somebody that's carnally minded understand something spiritual is like trying to talk with a bullhorn to a deaf mute. You know he's not going to hear what you're talking about. So why are you even attempting? Now, in the midst of this debate, they start talking about John the Baptist and Elijah. And matter of fact, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to just play it so y'all can listen for a little bit. And uh, you'll see that this elder Yarag guy, he clearly doesn't get it. And there's no time in, you know, wait, you know, going back and forth, you know, like you're not going to win him over. All right. He, he, he's, he sees it the way he sees it. And, you know, you see it the way you see it, which, which we know reincarnation is biblical. Is, <laughs> that's the truth. But not too many people can grasp that concept. So anyway, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just play it and let y'all listen to a little bit of it. This is kind of towards the end of it. But it's uh, with an hour 43, almost 44 uh, minutes in. So let's uh, listen real quick. You have to show the you have to show the compare and contrast where one did this and one did just like the other. Just like we always have the debate in our in our land. What is who is the prophet like unto Moses? We can show you Moses versus what Joshua did versus what your did. That's easy. No, but the reason I'm saying you Elijah, Elijah with, did in the scripture. But this debate I'm ain't just about saying, who if I show you what Elijah did versus what John the Baptist did, you're not gonna see anything. You're not gonna okay, make but, that comparison. Why? Because it's talking about the spiritual aspect. But you win me. See, and that's just his opinion. That, that's his uh, perspective. Now, I can actually go in there and show clear-cut parallels of Elijah and uh, John the Baptist. I'll show two. First thing, let's go to um, First Kings. Hold up. Nope. Salakia. I think it's, I believe it's 2 Kings, the first chapter. This is uh, 2 Kings 1 and verse 8. Now, mind you, every individual have their own soul. And within your soul, is the seat of your affections, your desires, your, you know, your emotions. That's what makes you you. And it's in, in all of our souls are unique. All right. Um, so that means that, you know, there's a way of behavior. There's um, certain things that 
you know, you desire. There are certain things that you dislike. And that's what makes you you. Well, Elijah, you will be able to see that his soul is is is, is definitely paralleled to uh, John the Baptist just based on their attire. Now, this is uh, 2 Kings 1 and 8, and it's dealing with Elijah. It says, and they answered him, he was an hairy man and girt with a girdle of leather about his loins. And he said, it is Elijah the Tishbite. So this is how Elijah dressed. Because this is, you know, that was his style of dressing, right? Now let's go over to uh, Matthew, the third chapter where it actually describes John the Baptist and what he and what his raiment was, what his attire was. Matthew 3 and 1, it says, And in those days came John the Baptist, preaching in the wilderness of Judea, and saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For this is he that was spoken of by prophet Isaiah, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his paths straight and the same john had his raiment of camel's hair so he was hairy just like elijah was because they both had hairy raiment that's that was their clothing all right and of course you know in 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 that region of the earth it gets pretty cold in the winter time all right so you know you were rock uh, uh clothing with, with with hair on it all right and a leathern girdle about his loins, just like Elijah, and his meat was locusts and wild honey. So you can see that parallel. They dressed pretty much with the same attire, the same apparel, right? It also said that he was in the wilderness, and that's pretty much, you know, his dwelling place. He he dwelt in in the wilderness. Elijah he also dwelt in the wilderness. So they both had similar habitats all right these are not uh coincidentals all right none of it is a, a a coincidence this is the same spirit which is why he he carried himself in a, in in the, in the same fashion when he came back as john the baptist all right it was also courageous because uh Elijah, you know, he he rebuked the prophets of Baal, right? So he wasn't afraid to uh, you know, curse them out for uh their idolatry. And they was getting ready to uh, put him to death. Well, John the Baptist, he had the same uh courageousness because he wasn't afraid to rebuke uh 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 um Herod, the brother of uh, Philip, for having an adulterous affair with his wife and ended up getting put in prison behind that. So those are all uh, parallels. He dressed, they dressed in the, in the same fashion. They both dwelt in the wilderness, in the desert. They both were courageous. And I can go to those scriptures to prove that, but you know, hey, go and go and do your your your, your search. Go look these scriptures up, man. So, like I said, this dude he's just mouthing off, and it's just his opinion. All right, this is why it's a it's a waste of time, you know, because even when you do show the proof, when you show it to him. It doesn't click. You know, this is why the Lord said, cast not, uh, give not which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast ye your pearl before a swine. Meaning, don't give this to somebody that ain't un, uh, that ain't uh, worthy. You know, because they're not going to get it. And, also, and on top of that, if you do share it with them, they're going to, you know, trample on it. They'll just turn around and say, oh, that, that's, you know, that's off. That's a bugged out doctrine, you know, that ain't the truth. 
and it becomes a waste of time. You know what I'm saying? Let me get this in a uh, Sirach 21. Yeah, Sirach 21 and uh, starting at 14, it says the inner parts of a fool are like a broken vessel and he will hold no knowledge as long as he liveth. If a skillful man hear a wise word, he will commend it and add unto it. But as soon as one of no understanding hear of it, it displeaseth him and he casteth it behind his back. Meaning he's just going to toss it out immediately. If it if it if he don't understand it, he disagrees with it. Because the spirit ain't working with them, he just gonna he's gonna toss it. All right, he's not he's not gonna believe, and you're not gonna convince him, because the Lord didn't open up his 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 eyes, and his ears to receive it. All right, like Apostle Paul said, uh, unto the natural man, their foolishness unto him. First Corinthians two. And 14, it says, but the natural man, meaning the, the, the earthly man, receiveth not the things of the spirit of the most High, for they are foolishness unto him. All right. The concept of reincarnation is foolish to the natural man. Because he's carnal. You can, like the scriptures say up above, we compare spiritual things with spiritual. Like you can, like how we go into... How uh, Peter is King David. A lot of people that goes way over a lot of people's head. That, that would that would mess people up to 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 know that that Yahweh that that uh, Peter was King David or Yahweh Shai was a uh, King Solomon. That 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 go over their heads, and we can go into the scriptures and, and and point out the parallels. You know, give you all the precepts to to go and study and 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 and, and try to understand it. But if the spirit ain't with you, <laughs> you won't understand. And the Lord, he wasn't out there just, he wasn't debating. He told you directly what the truth was and you either received it or you didn't. He always would uh, follow it up by saying, he that have an ear, let him hear. Meaning he that got a brain. If you got a brain, use it. Like the apostle Tahar uh, always say, you use your uh, head not just for a, a hat rack. If you got a brain, comprehend what I'm telling you. All right. It says, neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. All right. So it ain't meant for everybody to receive it. He told his disciples, um, unto you it is given, but. To them, it is not given. Was that Matthew 13? Yeah, Matthew 13 and uh, 9, it says, Who have ears to hear, let them hear. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to them, it is not given. And this word would be a, a, a stumbling block to uh, the two thirds of our people, the majority of our people. You know, it would be a rock of offense. It would be a stumbling block. A gin and a snare. The Lord said, uh, bind up my testimony and seal my law among my disciples, man. So really, it's only for a select few. All right. And reincarnation is one of the mysteries. Okay. You look up that word mystery, go is from the Greek word mysterion. And it says a hidden thing, secret, mystery, generally mysteries, religious secrets, confided only to the initiated and not to ordinary mortals. You know. You know, prophets, they got certain portions. You know, some got more than others, but everybody got their portion. Okay. It says a hidden or secret thing, not obvious to the understanding. All right. It says down here, it says 
a, a hidden purpose or counsel, secret will of, of men of the Most High, the secret counsels which govern the Most High in dealing with the righteous, which are hidden from God, ungodly and wicked men, but plain to the godly. All right. And reincarnation is, is, is plain. We understand it. That's why we can understand why judgment uh, takes place. Like when, when children die or, or people die and they die in the most brutal fashion. We understand that that was judgment because of what they've done in, in their past life. That they were, they were guilty of some uh, a sin or multiple sins that they had to pay for in their, in their uh, next life. And, and hey, because if you don't understand that, then you'll be questioning the most size of morale. You know, you'll be thinking that's, that's that got to be an evil, unjust God if he'll kill an innocent kid. But we know the most high is not unjust. He doesn't uh, commit any iniquity. He's not unjust. He's a God of justice, a God of judgment. Like when it, when they asked the Lord about that 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 uh, man that was blind from his birth, they why did they know to ask him who did sin, he or his or his parents? Because they understood that concept. He maybe he's paying for something he did in his past life. So these these type of dudes with that carnal mindset, they'll hear these things and it just displeases them. So they'll just talk, be quick to toss it out because they don't understand it. So once you sense that, you you, you no longer waste your time. You move on. You, you keep it moving. Otherwise, it ain't going to get nowhere. And the scriptures say this, uh, Sirach 22 and uh, 13, it says, Talk not much with a fool and go not to him that have no understanding. Beware of him lest thou have trouble and thou shalt never be defiled with his fooleries. Depart from him and thou shalt find rest and never be disquieted with madness. But, you know, we understand why they do it. It's for the sake of clout. You know, they do all these debates just, you know, because they, they made a, a name for themselves. They made themselves of, repu uh, of, of reputation. The Lord didn't, he didn't uh, debate nobody because he wasn't earning, he wasn't there to earn a reputation. He made himself of no reputation. He just, you know, they whatever question they had, he answered it on the spot directly. And it wasn't no, uh, you know, it wasn't no debate. And he usually would shut them down, you know, with, with, with simple answers or, or, or with a scripture or two. All right. But anyway, I'll, I'll play just a little more and then uh, we'll, we'll close out. But I'm just responding to this right here. To Zariac wasting his time. And because Physical. everything Yara just did is windmilling because we ain't talking about uh -huh. the debate ain't about what did he restore. He said Elias shall truly come. And Elijah is, excuse me, John is Elijah. That that's Christ's words. And then he said, He that have an ear, let him hear. <laughs> All right. Use your brain and comprehend what I'm telling you. He was literally saying, John is Elijah. That's him. And they just simply, even though the, the Lord made it crystal clear, he made it perfectly plain. And people still, you know, they, they, they don't know how to receive it. Oh, he's talking about his the, the, the spirit of him. What, is he talking about uh, a, a familiar spirit? So are we, so we talking about uh, uh, wizardry? Shamanism, dealing with a a, 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 a ancestral spirit. No, the, John was Elijah coming back. That he was the reincarnation of Elijah. That's that's facts. That's that's the truth. And if you can't receive it, then they you 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 just can't get it. But anyway, Christ said, "John is Elijah." The only way John could be Elijah is if when John was born out the womb, that same spirit was Elijah in John. That's the only way that that works. Otherwise, Malachi 4 and 5 don't work no more. 
John's excuse me, Christ's words don't work no more. So you can ask your question because I think that you was and you was responding to my question, but I don't think that y'all excuse me that you actually asked me a question. But no, that so was all of my saying. question. If you're saying, ask your sorry, what's your question, y'all? Yeah, if you're saying that, <laughs> if you're saying mm -hmm. that I know, Christ I know it knew and that Elijah, oh, this is a good one. If Elijah's, if Elijah's spirit was reincarnated in John the Baptist from the womb, that that was Elijah's spirit. Is that what the scriptures tells us, Captain? I mean? promise you, this, the, the scripture doesn't tell us that that was Elijah's spirit in the womb of Elizabeth. No, Does not. It? No, it doesn't say that. Literally, it doesn't no. say that. It says who's. It says what happened. It says he said he would have John, the Holy Spirit from the womb. Right, that John would be right. filled with the Holy Spirit. That he left in the womb when he met Mary, and okay, she but, approached, and she was pregnant. Where you? Hey, I, I got another parallel, another one. How about when after Elisha, he asked for um, Elijah to give him a double portion of his spirit, right? And one of the uh, first miracles that Elisha did was he had a, 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 a Syrian captain by the name of ne Naaman who was a leper and the spirit came on Elisha to command him to go to the river Jordan And dip himself in that water seven times. And when he came out, the leprosy was gone. That's, uh, and we talking about comparing spiritual things with spiritual. This dude, he's, he's carnal as hell. Him having the, 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 the double spirit of uh Elijah he did something that Elijah would have done and you see that same spirit was actually in John the Baptist because that was Elijah he went and baptized in that same river which symbolized a, a spiritual cleansing I'm just, you know, I'm just throwing that out there, but like stuff like that, man. How could you see all these parallels and not conclude that that's not him? The Lord made it crystal clear. If you if, if you don't take what the Lord said serious, you're trying to complicate what the Lord said when he made it plain to you is 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 is, is evident that you did not have the ears to hear. So Cesaria, he's wasting his time, man. And then I think I heard him say, well, why didn't the Lord, re just like uh, they, uh, when Yahushua asked him, who do you say that I am? You know, and they started naming uh, different prophets. We're showing you right there that they understood that uh, prophets come back in their lot reincarnated. Um, but But he asked Peter, who do you say that I am? He said that you are the son of, 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 of the Most High, the living power. And he said, uh, blessed are you, uh, Simon Barjona, for uh, uh, no, you know, nobody's revealed this to you but my father from uh, heaven. You know? Yeah, it is like, I, 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 like the debate wouldn't... If I had to, you know, deal with this dude, it wouldn't go that far. We wouldn't be on here for for um, for two hours debating this because it's clear as day he's not going to get it. Okay. He's just going to oppose whatever it is or whatever point you make, whatever uh, reference you use. It's not going to be good enough because he just simply can't understand it. So, yeah, man, that, that's that, that's that. You know, no matter of fact, Salakia, he you he when he said that, 
he also said, so why didn't the Lord, just the same way they revealed that uh, Yahweh Shai was the Messiah, why didn't the Messiah reveal to uh, John that he was Elijah? Because, you know, when they asked if he was Elijah, he, he denied and said no. But um, why didn't the Lord uh, reveal to Judas that he was the fulfillment of Psalms, the 109th chapter? Judas had to play Judas and it wouldn't have been like, let's be realistic. If he knew who he was <laughs> prior to the moment uh, it was revealed what he was going to do, how, you think it would have played out the, the, the same way? Apparently to, to, to John, that wasn't important. But he still came to fulfill exactly what the Lord said he would do. He, the Lord sent Elijah back to do what he did. So, I just want to throw that out there as well. You know, when when y'all listen to it, you know, I think it's it's a few minutes uh, further into the video when he asked that question. But um, I mean, the Lord didn't have to reveal that to uh, John. John still fulfilled that that purpose. He still fulfilled that prophecy, regardless if he knew who he was or not. So, yeah, man, that, that that's that's pretty much it, man. I just want to uh, respond to this, and um, hey, call Lord Yahweh Shai to the next lesson. Shalom.